I think it was last year, probably about a year and a half ago, I had texted you and I said, what do I need to do to put in a proposal for a book? And you said, are you ready? And I said, I'm ready. I, I'm writing. I, I have this idea that I'm putting together. He's, he's like, okay, you do your table of contents, your intro, your, your first chapter. And I was at it. I was like, okay. I was looking at all my material, all my content. And I was like, what direction do I want to go in? Because I had a lot of content and I was just trying to think about how to best thread it all together to, to weave a beautiful story. Because I really feel like that our lives are like these collections of stories um, and those stories can really positively impact others. So what's the story? What's the narrative I want to tell here? Um, and so I, I was really, you know, in, in thinking about this, I've been inspired by a lot of leaders and a lot of people. And I've used a lot of these interactions as guides on my path. And that's a lot about what I write about. And a lot of these people I, I surround myself with um, happen to be women, <laughs> you know, um, but also uh, others as well. Um, and I thought about, well, wouldn't it be great to have this book where I can not only share my path to leadership, um, people who have recognized leadership qualities within me from the time I was a very little girl till now, um, but also I'm very big on amplifying other people's voices and elevating other people's um, gifts because we have to, we're better together. Collectively, uh, we are better. Um, and so I brought in some voices, all of who I know. So I have Lainey Rowell, I have um, Stephanie Rothstein, I have my fourth grade teacher, Linda Roth, who still is a mentor to me to this day. And I think that's a pretty cool aspect of this book that your, my fourth grade teacher is writing in it with me, um, Natasha Nurse and Megan Lawson. So um, all of these people are fantastic educators, uh, fantastic writers and thinkers and thought leaders. Um, and, and that was important to me. And I know you've done that in a lot of your books, George. Um, I know because of the teacher was a big inspiration uh, for that concept for me to be able to do this. And now your book, uh, What Makes a Great Principal, actually reminds me a lot of this. Um, because I think it's nice when you're reading a book to, you know, you have my voice, you have the author's voice, but now let's hear this idea right. from someone else. And maybe it could be a little bit different. Maybe they, they've taken a different entry point to this idea. Um, and then back to another voice. I think it keeps it interesting and right. engaging. There's something about that I really, really like. I like the spirit of that. So anyway, the book really came together because I was blogging about my path to leadership. I was blogging a lot about, and by the way, the first part of the book is all about the path to the leader inside. All of these people who serve as signposts along your journey, they're kind of lanterns that guide you. Even interactions along the way that might you might have considered unfavorable, those are important um, interactions too, because they tell you who you want to be and who you don't want to be.